welcome to the, our explanation about mathematics. We're going to explain the definition and the main topics about math. We can say that mathematics is the abstract study of topics such as quantity, structure, space, and change. The mathematicians seek out the patterns to formulate new conjectures. They resolve the truth or falsity of these conjectures by mathematical proof. If we want to talk about mathematics, we should study so far here before Christ, because all these civilizations have a different system for calculate, for get a count, and different way to uh, get additions, subtractions, multiplication, or divide. But all the things have what, the same propositive. So the daily problems that the people have. Let me say the mathematics have four principal fields in where the mathematics works. These four fields are quantity, structure, space, and change. In our terms, we know more about these four fields in these, this type of names. Quantity like arithmetic and structure, like algebra, space like geometry, and change like analyze. This is the principal field that, in this case, we study about the mathematics. Uh, for the start, in arithmetic, arithmetic that the study of quantity starts with numbers. The, in this case, we uh, study the arithmetical operations that are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Uh, in, this, in this part of the mathematics, the arithmetic study the groups of numbers. In the groups of number, we have two principal groups of number that are this. The real numbers that represents with a letter R and the complex numbers, complex, that are represents with a letter I. In the branch of quantity, more known with by arithmetic, we have all the system of numbers and the oper arithmetical operations that are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. In the group of the, this branch of the mathematics to study the real number and the complex numbers. There, these are the two more bigger, more biggest uh, type of numbers. In the real number, we have three small groups that are into the, the big group. The first of all is the natural numbers. The natural numbers are all the numbers that we know, the, the one from to infinitum, that are positive and have the other characteristics that, they, that can't be a decimal. To the next group, we have the integral numbers. Integral. This group contains the natural numbers and have the characteristic that can be positive or negative. The numbers can, uh, can be represented in a line in, in where we can put to the numbers that are under to the zero and the numbers that are up to the zero. For example, you can be uh, look for this line in where you can find the numbers that are next to the zero or up to the zero that are the positives, one, two, three, that are positives, and the, the numbers that are found under the, the zero, like uh, minimum one, two, or three, with a sign of minimum. But the next uh, group of numbers, we can find the um, rational numbers. So, the next group of numbers are the rational numbers. Tell me, can you help me? Okay, so, 
Tell me, I'm going to explain to you what, uh, what is the form of a rational number. Okay. When you talk about the rational number, we have this structure. When we have a division, this is the divide and the dividing. When you want to uh, know the result of the division, you only have to make a division in where uh, you divide the numerator into the denominator. And this is going to result or is equal to a decimal number. A decimal number is the characteristic number of the group. This is formed by an integral part separated by a dot with a decimal part. The next group of numbers that are not the real because the real numbers are all the numbers uh, where we, we commonly work in the school and the university uh, are number, the common numbers, but exist another that are different of the reals, very different, not include. And for that I make two circles that don't separate the complex numbers. The complex numbers are numbers that doesn't exist not exist in the real number, and for that have the name of imaginary numbers. In English, it's the same that say complex numbers. So, uh, the complex numbers have an structure that are composed like a real, with a real, no, we are a real part, sorry, and an I. The I indicates that this number is, doesn't form part of the real numbers, are complex. The i, it equal the i elevate to the square, like that. It's equal to meaning one. Um, for what is this you are asking for? But it's for that when you have a root, when you have a root like this form, a square root of minion twenty five. In the real number, you can do this root because it doesn't have a response. But if you pass to the complex group of numbers, you can substitute the minimum for this letter. How? Like this, 25 by minimum 1. And the minimum 1 is the same as e elevate, i elevate to the square. So you can put like the in this way, and if you see this form, you can desarray it and get a response for this for this root, and the response of this is five i. <laughs> this, if you can see, is not a real response because it's five with an imaginary part. After, uh, in the next field of mathematics are the structure. The structure are the branch of mathematics that describe the functions of the mathematics or the fields that are made of these functions of the mathematics. In this case, we know or uh, are now more like algebra. The algebra is a study of abstract structures following certain rules. Okay, we can mention 5b. Here we're going to found a constant and a variable. Okay, the part of the contact the constant are a part that doesn't change. Even though uh, Ever, it's gonna be the same number or the same value, and a variable uh, it's up the part of the algebra number that ha can change. It's uh, for say for say you some uh, something the a variable can take values and change. For this, have the number constant and variable. Okay, with the, uh, in algebra we can find a lot of the same of the natural number, the arithmetical function, the arithmetical operations that are the, the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. 
For example, in uh, addition of algebraic expressions, we can find uh, 5b plus uh, 3a plus, uh, sorry, 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 minion uh, 4b plus 2a. So, we, what, what we do with this expression? It's simple. In algebra, like you know, you only have to look for the similar letters or the silly, uh, in this case, similar constant, uh, variables, sorry, <laughs> the similar variables. For example, the 5b and the 4b are similar because have the same variable. So you can operate the constant part. So plus 5 meaning 4 is gonna it's gonna be equal to 1b plus, uh, plus in this case 3a more 2a it's gonna be 5a so for operate in the subtraction uh, you have to do the same only look for the similar bar variables and operate the constant part the next field of the mathematics are the space the space is to be all of the geometric shapes. For example, the circle, the square, triangle, and all the shapes that you learn at the school. Okay? So, in the space we can find, especially the geometry and the trigonometric. In, the, in these two cases, uh, you have to start a study with the definition of the dots, of the line, uh, the angles, the triangles are all the characteristics that we know about that. So we are going to focus on the Pythagoric theorem. Okay, so that means going to explain you that. The theorem says that the hypotenuse to the square is equal to the side A to the square plus the side B to the square. We can see that in the Okay. We can find the hypotenuse here and side A, side B. So if we have a triangle with a base of 5 and a height of 5, if we want the hypotenuse, we should use this. So in this case, you make it. In this case, you only have to elevate the first and the square that is equal to 25, and the second two that is equal to 25 because the two are the same. So 25 plus 25 are equal to 50, and you have to take the root of this. That here we don't have exact number. We don't have exact number, but. Uh, the hypotenuse in this case it's a root of 50, of 50. okay so this theorem uh, it's used in all the mathematics fields in where you study in the first grade of engineering you in the basic math mathematics one you have to use it in all the course so it's very important in the part of the geometric uh, of the geometry, so but uh, at the same time have the trigonometric. In the trigonometric, for be fast, the more important are the angles. With the angles, we have trigonometric entities that are something like this. For example, if you have an angle here that is alpha, no, it's it alpha. No, 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 this is not alpha. Alpha are like this and. Something like that. So uh, the trigonometric functions are three basics that are the sinus, the cosine, and the tangent. The sinus of the angle are the oppo opposite side divided. The, now the sinus uh, of the hypotenuse, 
So, it's, can you erase this? Please. So, the sinus of the triangle, it's gonna be the opposite uh, side that RB divide to the hypotenuse. In the case of the cosine, or the, the side that, uh, that are under the angle divided the hypotenuse like that. A divided H, that are the hypotenuse. And the tangents of the angle are the opposite side divided the other side, that are B divided A. And these are gonna be the simple and the basic three uh, trigonometric functions. The formula that we found in the change, we are going to use uh, called analyze. This is the way that describes the change of the values of the. We want to focus us in the functions, okay? That the central thing is the x. We are going to change this value. Here we are going to found two values. We want to say that need two numbers that multiply we get three and plus we get two. So we are going to use the first sign and we should take care with this sign. We should use the logs on the signs. Okay? And we have three and one. We have that x plus three is equal to zero, and x minus one is equal to zero. If we want to find the value of x, we should like that. We change the sign because the three change of sign. And we have that the value of x is for x1 3 negative and for x2 is 1 positive.